See, the problem that people do is you get in God's way. You tell God what you want, then you mess up and tell him how you want him to do it. All you got to do is write down what you want. Because the scripture says this, write the vision and make it plain so that he who reads it will run to it. And even though it take a long time, wait for it. For surely it will come at an appointed time. You got to keep the faith. It's going to happen. See, I, my first vision board I wrote when I was 10, I wrote, I want to be on TV. I read it. I flunked out of school. I've been living in a car for three years, but I kept reading my paper. Guess what? I'm on TV. Now, I wrote it at 10. I did not get on TV till I was 38. I'm telling you this how this works. Success ain't a magic trick. It's a set of principles. People in here way smarter than me. People in here got way more degrees than me. The Bible says a man without a dream or vision shall perish. So guess what? You can't outvision me. Don't let nobody outdream you and don't let nobody outwork you. That's how you get the life of your dreams. I bet you if you write it down, God don't say nothing he don't make true. This world going to end one day. You ain't got to believe that. You can say it ain't no God. But guess what? The sun come up tomorrow. You can't stop it. It go down in the evening. You can't shut it off. Go up there and stop the wind. See what happened to you. Go up there and cut that sun off. See what happened. You're going to roast your ass like a nut. All the circumstances say, if it was going to happen, it would have happened by now. But what God promised you doesn't have an expiration date. You may have done things that should keep your dream from coming to pass, but God is so merciful, He's already taken your mistakes into account. But too often, we disqualify ourselves. We think it would have happened if I'd finished school, if I'd not got involved with the wrong crowd, then God would bless me. That would be true if God was like us. He is full of mercy. He doesn't cancel our destiny because we got off course. And the good news is God has mercy for every mistake, a comeback for every setback. What he's promised you is still on the way. It may seem unlikely. You may not see how you could ever get out of debt. God is saying increase is coming. What you touch will prosper and succeed. Quit believing the lies that it's too late. The problem is too big. God is called the author and the finisher of your faith. The delay doesn't mean it's not going to happen. The circumstances may look impossible, but God hasn't run out of options. He has ways we've never thought of. He's not limited by your job, by what you didn't get, one good break and what he promised you will come to pass. Sometimes God will put promises in your heart that don't make sense to your mind. The key is to let the seed take root. You don't have to figure out how it's going to happen. All you have to do is believe. You may have delayed it, but you didn't deny it. God hasn't changed his mind. You may not see anything happening, but God is still working. What he promised you is still on the way. The enemy is called the accuser of the brethren. He'll remind you of everything you've done wrong. He'd love for you to go through life down on yourself. No dreams, no passion, no expectancy. Don't fall into that trap. Are you believing lies that you've missed your chance? If you'd have been more disciplined, God already knew about that. What he promised you is right on schedule. You didn't miss it, it's still in your future. Now you may have failed, but you are not a failure. Failure is an event, it's not who you are. What you do may not always be good, but you are good. You may have gotten off course. You may have brought the trouble on yourself, but God is saying, I'm still going to bless you. I'm still going to use you to help others. You're still going to fulfill your destiny. 
what I promised you is still on the way. Those dreams you've given up on, they're on the way. I don't see anything happening right now, but God, I know you are working behind the scenes. What you promised me is still right on schedule. You may feel like you're lacking in some area, lacking talent, lacking support, but God knows what you don't have. He knows who's not for you. The good news is God is going to make up for what you don't have. He's going to give you the seed. And sometimes on purpose, God will let you run out of what you need so you'll have to depend on Him. If you don't turn my child around, if you don't open this door, if you don't heal my body, God, then I'm done. When you come to the end of your ability, then there's room for God's favor. There's room for Him to show out in your life. Don't let the circumstances fool you. Don't let what you don't have talk you out of it. The delays, the seasons of silence convince you that it's never going to happen. He's going to bless you in spite of your mistakes. He's going to make things happen that you didn't deserve. It's just the goodness of God. And I'm all for taking risks, getting out of our comfort zones, but it's important to stay in God's timing. Quit believing those lies that you can't accomplish your dreams. Look what you've done. Never get out of debt. You've made too many poor choices. What God promised you is still on the way. It's still on the schedule. Start believing again. Start making plans for what you've given up on. You've got to keep dreaming. Your better future is a dream for yourself and for your family. You've got to dream dreams. There's a Bible phrase that says, without dreams and visions, people perish. You have strong sense of self, that, that gives your life a sense of purpose. Your life has a sense of purpose, that gives your life a sense of direction. The 40-40 plan is gone where you can go to college and graduate and get a job and work 40 hours a week doing the same thing for 40 years. That's gone. People that are hungry are uncommon people. They are say yes to their dreams. People that are hungry have a vision of themselves when they leave here leaving a legacy and not liabilities. Most people die at age 25 and don't get buried till they're 65 because they're not willing to take a chance on themselves. I said, God, let me touch and change millions of people's lives. Let me make my mark. Let me touch hearts and minds. Let me be an instrument to give people hope, to inspire them to expand their skill set. God, let me live a life that counts. God, help me live a life that matters. God, give me the stamina and the vision to use my gift that you have given me to work with people who are hungry to make their lives count. My mother's dream was to raise seven children she didn't have. And she never failed. We never went to sleep hungry. She's a hard worker and she had faith. I remember the first home I bought her and I said, Mama, how do you like this? She said, if I lived in something like that, I would feel like Mrs. Rockefeller. I purchased the home and I said, Mama, I think I know the people who live there. I said, I'm going to stop in and say hello. She looked at how beautiful this house was. She said, Leslie, are you sure you know these people? <laughs> and we got to the door. I reached in my pocket. I took the key out and I put it in the door. I said, Mrs. Rockefeller, this is your home. This is going to happen for you. It's already happened for some of you. 